Of the 28 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Taiwan, patient number 24 is one whose source of infection is still unknown. She has been in the intensive care unit and a regular ward, and in the process has come into contact with more than 100 medical workers. To prevent in-hospital transmission, the Central Epidemic Command Center is now planning to divide medical personnel into different teams so that those who treat COVID-19 patients will not come into contact with other patients. Patient number 24, a woman in her 60s from northern Taiwan, has already come into contact with more than 100 medical personnel during hospitalisation. This has greatly raised the risk of in-hospital transmission. The Central Epidemic Command Centre has announced that medical personnel will be divided into teams that are either epidemic focused or work in other areas. This is our main strategy. One, we want to contain the epidemic and prevent the escalation of cases. Two, we want to reduce the attrition of medical personnel. As we fight this war against disease, the frontline warriors are the medical workers. Taiwan hopes that through the selective deployment of medical personnel, the worst case scenario of in-hospital transmission can be averted. Should the epidemic get out of hand, patients with minor symptoms will be treated at designated hospitals, while negative pressure isolation wards will be reserved for those with severe symptoms. In the future, if the amount of patients reaches a certain number, regular hospitals will designate some wards for treating COVID-19 cases, and such wards will have one person per room. Special designation means all the infected patients will be looked after by infectious disease doctors and nurses. In other words, these specialists only care for infected patients. They don't visit other wards and don't come into contact with other patients. Kang Ning Hospital says they're prepared to act once the central government gives the directive. In the meantime, they'll put their staff through intensive epidemic response training. Usually, two to three patients are looked after by one nurse, but in this case, we'll likely have one nurse look after a single patient. So we might see a shortage of personnel. We'll need to manage people's schedules ahead of time. To prevent a shortage of medical workers, the Central Epidemic Command Centre also announced Sunday that medical professionals will not be allowed to leave the country without prior approval. As the war against COVID-19 rages, medical professionals are preparing to enter the front lines.